I went into this show ready and willing, and to be quite honest, expecting to tear this episode apart, this show apart. And there are some issues and there is some stupid, and I'll get to that later, but after watching the episode, it's it's meh. It's I, I, it's just meh. I, 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 the, the show was trying to establish like this is the show was supposed to be a comedy, but it's going to be kind of hard to distinguish itself as a comedy when the amount and type of humor that's in this show is pretty much standard in the majority of MCU projects. Like, I, you know what I mean? It's like a lot of the MCU you know, movies and TV shows have a humorous aspect, you know, a humorous aspect to it. This show is no more or has no more of that than anything else. So I don't know how it's supposed to distinguish itself as a comedy. Um, th there seems to be two types of humor in this show. Uh, one type of humor seems to be geared to a female audience because it's probably more relatable to a female audience. Uh, an example being uh, the Hulk or Bruce, or I'll just call him the Hulk. The Hulk goes, fear and anger are, tri are the triggers. And then Jen goes, uh, fear and anger is the baseline for all women. Now, I heard that and I'm going, is that the joke? Is that the funny? I don't get it. But apparently, the female audience who heard that thought it was hilarious. Um, another example is, uh, Jen is hyperventilating and then the next scene is she's eating pancakes. And I'm going, is that the joke? Is that the funny? Is that something that is relatable to the female audience? Because I don't get it. So there's that. But then there's a second, yeah, there's a second type of humor. And the second type of humor is... It's weak. It, it's it's really it's weak ass humor. It's 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 just nothing. Now I know I know humor is subjective, and I get all that. But hey, here's the best way I can explain the humor in this show. This show needs a laugh track, so I'll know when something funny was supposed to happen. Either that or have one of the writers sit beside me as I'm watching the show and they can tap me on the shoulder and, and, let, and let me know whenever something funny happens. Uh, or, or you know what? I'll have one of the, I'll ask one of the writers, what was the goddamn point of the whole training montage? The, the bulk of episode one was a training montage that by the end of the training montage, the Hulk goes, yeah, everything we just did Ignore it. Don't worry about it. Go do what you were going to do anyway. I, I, the whole idea of training her how to be a superhero. By the end of the training montage, the Hulk goes, yeah, don't worry about learning how to be a superhero. Be, just go be a lawyer. Uh, the whole thing about learning how to deal with the duality of the, of the personalities. The, the, in the training montage, Jen goes... I, I'm still Jen. When, when I turn into the She-Hulk, I'm still Jen, so I don't have to learn about the duality. Like, like nothing that is being learned and taught during the training montage actually has any relevance to the premise of the show. Because the premise of the show is Jen can transform into the She-Hulk at will, can revert back to Jen at will, still retains the mentality of Jen when she's the She-Hulk. There's no, there's no Jen, the lawyer, and savage She-Hulk or anything. It's still the same personality. She doesn't want to be a superhero. She doesn't, and she wants to be a lawyer. That could have been covered in two days of training. You could have covered that in two days. 
Day one, you have Jen. Spaceship and the blood transfusion, whatever. <coughs> I'll deal with that in a second. Day one, she gets the blood uh, into her, and that what's, that's what causes her to be the She-Hulk. Day two, you have it that Jen can turn into the She-Hulk at will, and she can still retain her personality, and goes, I don't want to be a superhero, I want to be a lawyer. Bruce goes, okay, I respect that, go. Done. And you could actually have the episode be about, because the most, the most interesting part of this episode for me was at the end of the episode when Jen goes to, uh, is about to do her closing arguments, Titania shows up and I'm going, oh, now we're going to actually get into the show, the premise and basis of the show. What happens? She Hulk punches Titania, knocks her out. She reverts back into Jen, goes, I'd like to finish my closing arguments. And it's like, that, that, that should have been the show. The show should have started with that. Had like a five minute little flashback explaining how Jen got the blood. Hell, just have it that, uh, just have it that Jen goes, uh, I ended up getting a blood transfusion from my cousin, Bruce. You might know him as the Hulk or whatever. It's complicated. It's a long story. Don't worry about it. Just wave it off. The same way the MCU waved off the origin of Spider-Man. Because apparently the MCU figured nobody was interested in the origin of Spider-Man. Nobody gives a rat's ass about the origin of She-Hulk. Because that's not the point of the show. The whole point of the show is she can become the She-Hulk at will and Jen at will. It's a comedy. It's all about her the, the 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 hijinks that will ensue as a of a lawyer who can turn into the She-Hulk. Have a five minute montage of her learning how to control herself and the fact that she can change it well, and then after that five minutes, start the show and have it be about her. Because with what I saw in at in the in the at the end of the episode. It's the first time she became the She-Hulk in public because everybody else is looking at her in shock. The only people who know that she can be the She-Hulk is her best friend, I guess, and Bruce. So it's like, like episode one was in, like, they wanted to do the training montage because I guess they thought the funny that was in the training montage was actually funny when it wasn't really that funny anyway. And it's like, apparently this show isn't starting in episode one. The premise of the show is starting in episode two. So, uh, j judging this show from episode one isn't really fair because it's really not the premise of the show. It's just the origin setup, which is, is yeah, whatever. Um, but... On its own, episode one is pretty weak. It's nothing interesting. It's a, it, was, it was a waste of an episode. I have to watch episode two to actually know what the show's going to be like. Uh, I'll probably give a episode two a shot, but I doubt it'll be anything worth making a video over because I'm, I'm guessing it's just going to be just as meh as this episode, and it's... The humor is going to be just as mad as this humor, but I'll take a look at it, but I doubt it's going to be worth talking about. Um, oh, like, like the stupid in this show, like the stupid in this episode. Uh, the, 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 the flying saucer, the, 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 the shit, the spaceship. The spaceship attack. Why does the spaceship attack their car? And then why does it just leave? Why doesn't it check to make sure they're dead or anything? And then the Hulk goes, uh, oh, don't worry about it. I'll check it out. Like a, It's a messenger of some kind. I'll check it out later. And then never checks it out because he's busy training, you know, Jen. So it's, it's it, and he's got a device that keeps him being Bruce. So that way his blood can get into her bloodstream. It's, it, 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 it was forced. It was ridiculous. It was stupid. It was unnecessary. Uh, and it, and it just established that we're going to do this and we're not, I, by episode two, 
Nobody's going to remember. Nobody's going to care about the spaceship that actually attacked them in the goddamn first place. Because I doubt it's going to be an overarching story. I doubt it's going to be an overarching story arc of the show or even being remembered. But anyway, yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, episode one. Like if I'm going to rate episode one on any type of scale, it's easy. It's meh. It didn't suck as bad as other shows because it didn't have as much stupid. But it wasn't that funny. It was barely funny. Uh, yeah, it was just meh. That's about it. That's all I got for this show. Or this episode anyway. I'll probably watch episode... I might watch episode two, but whatever. Uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. That's it. For, hope... hope. Probably that's it for this show, to be quite honest. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'm good. I'm out of here. See ya.